Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following literary narrative question is asking you uh, basically your classic uh, hide-and-seek question here, but though it seems to be hidden in uh, one of those um, main idea questions. Here they're asking, the author sees her role in the passage as. Uh, so you want to think of the entire passage, but you also want a direct quote here that tells you how the author sees her own role in the passage. So find in the description of the moth some uh, self-description there of the narrator. How does she see herself? Um, we, the first time that occurs, um, if you start reading here from the beginning, we start just describing the environment, nothing about the author. The second paragraph, we uh, start thinking about how she forgets about the moth to look at, uh, at other places. So it looks like, okay, we're, we're getting into sort of the, the meat here of when she starts thinking about herself. And then she starts talking about the effect that the moth's helplessness had on her. It says the helplessness, look at this, it's in line 27. Of his attitude, his being the moth's, roused me. It flashed upon me that he was in difficulties. He could no longer raise himself. His legs struggled vainly. Okay, but as I stretched out a pencil, meaning to help him to write himself, it came over me that the failure and awkwardness were the approach of death. I laid the pencil down again. So these last uh, three sentences here of, the, of this paragraph sort of give you a little bit of a hint as to how she was reacting to the moth's troubles. And then we'll continue with descriptions, right? Now we get that we got a better idea, let's go ahead and consider the answer choices. Does the author see herself as a superior life form? Probably not. If you were selecting this answer choice, um, you would have missed here that she was uh, definitely affected. She was roused by it. Um, and wanted to help. So she didn't feel superior in the sense that this was some somebody that she, maybe she didn't care for. Maybe you were thinking here a little bit earlier uh, when she thought that the struggle of the moth was, uh, here quote, pathetic. This is in line uh, nine. But remember here, what was pathetic wasn't the moth itself, but the struggle of every living being that shares the same uh, life energy. See, see that word showing up everywhere? that all the other animals in the farm, inclu including the plowmen, which were human beings, uh, had to go through. A little bit earlier, later in the passage, she also says that she knew of no organism, including humans, she thinks not even a whole city can escape um, the you know coming of death like this moth uh, here couldn't escape it. So she doesn't see herself as a superior life form, but shares in that same struggle that the moth is going through right now. An active participant in the moth's death. This also seems really good. Um, the problem with this one is very, very literal here. Active participant seems to imply that she had something to do with the moth dying, that maybe uh, she helped kill the moth in some way. So be very careful here. It's very literal meaning. Uh, she didn't do anything to kill the moth. She tried helping the moth, but then sort of went back a little bit on that because uh, she noticed that death was coming. Uh, so she laid the pencil down because, well, it was futile. She couldn't do anything anymore. So we can go ahead and give it a bad answer uh, as well. A helpless observer. This seems a lot better. Uh, she starts saying, of course, that we see the word helpless when we're describing the moth. It's the helplessness of his, of the moth's attitude. Um, but then she says, uh, I meant to help him, but it came over me that the failure and awkwardness were the approach of death. And her laying down the pencil again makes you think that, well, she feels she couldn't do anything about it anymore. I guess death is coming on, me doing anything isn't going to make a big difference. That, that's uh, a much better answer choice. Let's see if the next one beats that one. Untouched by the moth struggle. Oh, well, we can get rid of this one as well because she's definitely touched. You see the word rouse here in the first sentence of that bit. The helplessness of his attitude roused me. Uh, she starts having all of these uh, emotional words here like flashed. Uh, it came over me that the failure and awkwardness were the approach of death. Uh, and all of these uh, actions that come as a result of it. Um, so she's definitely touched, she's not untouched by the moth struggle, and that makes C here the best answer choice. Hope that helped with this problem, and happy prepping.